Well, hello, welcome to another Facebook Friday. It's another Frilici Friday. Hopefully you guys had a great week. Oh my gosh, we've had like the most beautiful week of like end of summer here. I hate even saying that, right? End of summer, oh my gosh. But in Michigan, you know, once September comes, fall kind of starts to happen. And even the end of August, we've been realizing like, yeah, it just is a little, it, things are changing just a little bit. So, hey, Amy Jo, how are you doing? So, welcome, yeah. So, if you guys have not joined me before, I just wanna make sure you know, every week, pretty much, pretty much every week, on our Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio Facebook group, right here, where you are right now, I pick a product of the week. And then, hey, Monica, hello, welcome, so glad you can be here. Um, basically, we feature that product of the week all week long on the Facebook group. I pop out to Pinterest and find lots of fun um, project ideas that other demonstrators have made. I, I promise I'm never trying to take credit for anybody else's work. I love to share other people's work because honestly it's hard to like come up with a million different projects, right? Uh, timing wise. I wish I could. I wish I could sit and play all day every day, right? But you know, other things have to be done too. So anyway, basically I grab ideas off of Pinterest, post them all week long just to kind of tease you. So for example, this week, our product of the week has been the best year stamp set. So, oh, there we go. Get a little bit of a glare there. So awesome stamp set, best year, kind of meaning um, we've got sentiments through kind of like all throughout the year, right? Yeah, a long time since you've been able to catch the live and hello, Miss Sandra. So glad you can be here too. Yay, I'm so excited. I love seeing um, everybody's names popping up on here. So, okay, yeah, so this stamp set, we've got awesome sentiments like, thank you for all that you are. And then down here, and every thoughtful little thing you do, there's the glare, sorry guys. Um, we've got a happy Father's Day, which we always can use that sentiment, right? Wishing you your best year yet, that probably could go with the happy birthday to you, right? Then we've got the little hello and the hey, and hip hip hooray, I love that, the different font styles together on one sentiment. Warm wishes for a happy Christmas. You did it. So maybe hip hip hooray, you did it. And then um, let's see this last one, I have to read it here. To the world you are a dad, to me you are the world. So awesome sentiments in our product of the week, that best year stamp set. And then these super cool dies, these plaid dies. So there's this one, so there are actually two big dies in here. So there's this one that makes the plaid and then what I'm calling kind of the grid lines. This is the other one. So we've got that die. So these two, you overlap them um, and make lots of fun plaid looks. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys some fun projects. Like I said, we've been sharing all week long, so hopefully those have been um, fun for you to see as well. And what else? Um, yeah, yeah, I get it. Oh, this is so funny. So Lily, um, my daughter, Lily, is babysitting another little girl, three-year-old Ella. And as I just said, yeah, she's upstairs and I hear her at the top of the stairs going, yeah. So I have like a little, um, like a little mimicking voice like in my ear, <laughs> just upstairs. And it might be kind of throwing me today. I'm gonna warn you guys. So I apologize if I'm like loopier than normal, right? Um, so, okay, let's see. I have so much good stuff to show you guys, um, including the new Stampin' Cut in a Boss Machine. You guys, I got it and I've been playing with it and I'm like, oh, it's so super sleek and fun and so much fun to play with. You, if you're a demonstrator, you can order right now in August, right? This is August. And if not, the beginning of September, I think it's September 1st, but I'll find out for sure. Um, you can order if you're, a, if you're not a demonstrator or you could get the starter kit and actually could get your um, new stamp and cut and emboss machine in your starter kit too. So that's something to think about. But anyway, I can't wait. I want it when I flip the camera down, then I'm gonna show you guys that because I think it's better to see that um, camera flipped down, okay? So, but in the meantime, I've got other great stuff to show you like, um, I wanna show you, so we had our Inkspired Stampers, my downline, our Inkspired Stampers, my team meeting this week, earlier this week, and we did make and takes featuring, I can show you, hello, Miss Teresa, this set is on your list. Yes, I. it's a good one, and hopefully you guys are gonna have some fun. Um, I'll show you, um, you know, how to use the dies too, because they're a little bit tricky. I used them at class last Friday, and I kinda, 
I should have had better like instructions for people because I kind of get pulled around to different places at class and I wasn't always able to be there to help people. So I, I'm hoping um, today I'll be able to show everybody exactly like the best way to use and how to layer the dyes and how to put them on and you know, all of it. So yeah, I'll be showing you that just a little bit. But anyway, in the meantime, we have, this is that Gilded Autumn Sweet. And I know that this is backwards, but this is a beautiful suite of fall inspired projects. So love the designer series paper. There's some brushed metal, like metallic paper, a fun bundle, the stamp set and the punches, ribbon, I love the ribbons. And I didn't actually get the acorn trinkets. Um, I, I wanna get those, but for whatever reason, I hadn't ordered them yet. So, but I'm gonna show you guys a little bit more up close, the beautiful autumn, oops, a pearl fell off of something somewhere. Hmm. I'll see if I can figure that out. Anyway, the beautiful autumn stamp set. So you can see the acorns and leaves, um, the imagery that works perfectly with the punches that I'm gonna show you in just a sec. And then more great sentiments like, have a beautiful day, hey there, thank you, my heart is grateful for you. Love that one, right? And this is my favorite, life is better with you. Oh, so many fun people that you could send that to, right? Um, so great sentiments on there. And then, so the dies, it's a little three pack of dies that come, you can get the beautiful autumn bundle, the, so the stamp set and then these dies. I should have closed these up, it'll be easier for me to hold on to them. So it's a set of three die, or not dies, punches. Am I saying dies? Set of three punches. And I wanted you guys to see, because a lot of times, like these are a little bit bigger than the super baby punches that we have. A little bit easier to hang on to, I think, if they're a little bit bigger. So we've got the two leaves there and then the little acorn right there. So I wanna holler up and say, Ella, you're being kind of loud. Normally it's like super quiet in here and it's really kind of, hopefully you guys can't, maybe you can, I don't know. Anyway, I can hear it and it's kind of like throwing me because like I said, normally it's really, really quiet in here. But anyway, she's super chatty up there today. So it's cute. She's She's got this like mega curly blonde hair that's like everywhere. It's so, it's awesome. Like anybody that does, like I have super straight hair, right? So. I would love to have her curly hair. It's so cute. So anyway, she maybe will have her come down and say hello at some point. Anyway, so, but okay, so these are the punches. Sorry, I'm like way off track. But they're bigger, basically, is what I wanted you guys to see, because I was surprised. Usually like these kind of three pack of punches, they're really like tiny baby ones, and these are like medium, I would say, medium size. So, okay, so you've seen the stamp set, you've seen the punches. Now let me show you our make and takes um, that we made. So anybody that's in my team, Hold on, where does that pearl go? Well, shoot, not on any of these cards, I don't think. Oh, all right, I thought I was gonna put it back on, on, but I don't know where it goes. Anyway, okay, so anybody that's on my team, any of my inkspired stampers, they can get um, the make and takes mailed to them. They still have to do the stamping. I do the punching or the die cutting, but they still have to do the stamping with their own ink, like, you know, per Stampin' Up! policy. Um, but if you come to the meeting, then you can do your stamping and punching and die cutting and all that right at the meeting, too. So anyway, these are the four cards that we made featuring that Gilded Autumn Suite. So here is the first card with that, my heart is grateful for you. And then check out this super fun fold, ladies. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? I just cut off the bottom. Basically, this is um, seven inches instead of eight and a half inches. You still score it at four and a quarter inches, and then you just have that little one and a half inch strip at the bottom that's not full card. Um, last time I did this, I did a little stamping when I did this style of card, but I didn't want to. I thought there was enough going on already. I thought it maybe would look a little too busy, but you could have stamped, right, some of like, like maybe the little acorns or leaves or something. You could have stamped them maybe in the corner where my fingers are, right? So that was one of our make and takes. And which one will I show you? This is my favorite, the life is better with you. I just love that sentiment, right? Um, and then this is a tall, shoop, you flip it up like that kind of a card with, can you guys see, this is that brushed metal and it comes in three different colors. This is, I actually haven't figured out which color is which because they come, they say, I have to read. It comes in bronze, copper, and gold. I mean, I can tell the gold. I don't know why the bronze and the copper, I was having a hard time figuring out which was which. But you get two full 12 by 12 sheets of each of them in bronze, copper, and gold. It's really hard to tell, but there's some brushing. It's almost like, you know, they took the metallic paper and then they just kind of lightly scratched on it. It's kind of what it looks like, but it's, you can't even tell. 
there. So sorry, I wish you could because it's very cool. Then we've got this, well, hello, Miss Sharon and Miss Abby. Thanks for joining us, guys. Then we have this thank you card, and I loved pairing it with, did I, have I used the ribbon? Oh, I, sh I should have pointed out that ribbon there. This is the Early Espresso, that faux suede trim, and I love that. It's so, like, soft, but kind of masculine. It's a masculine ribbon. Um, anyway, but it doesn't have to be, right? It could be if you need it to be. So I should pop back here, though, and... Um, kind of tell you guys that's one of the ribbons in the basket weave and metallic ribbon combo pack so that's the metallic ribbon i think in a copper yep that's a copper color hello miss kathy welcome so it's teeny tiny you guys can kind of see how teeny tiny it is right and then the last one that features the basket weave the mint macaron can you guys see that kind of basket weave on there too and hey there and then all of these right have featured that gilded right? Is that what it is? Yep, the Gilded Autumn Specialty Designer Series paper. So you get a real flavor for the DSP um, in that paper pack too, which is, it's beautiful. The paper is gorgeous with lots of copper accents. So beautiful, beautiful paper. So anyway, another reason to join my team though, because we always do awesome make and takes that you can get mailed to you every single month. So if you want more info on becoming an expired stamper, um, let me know. I'm happy to send information to you. I always put um, links at the end of all my email, um, at the description on top of this video after I finish posting it today. There'll be a link right on there for more info or just contact me, email Email, call, text. Um, give you my phone number right now because I haven't done that in a while. 989-330-0259. You can call or text me anytime um, and I will get back to you with any of your questions that you have or if, like I said if you want more info on the starter kit. So right now it's our regular starter kit deal which is always an awesome deal. You pick $125 in product. So for example you could pick, I'm pointing over at my new Stampin' Cotton Emboss machine which I think um, retails for $120. Find another little something for $5 and you only pay $99 plus sales tax so it'd be an awesome way to get that new stamp and cotton emboss machine like right now because only demonstrators can get it or people who sign up to be demonstrators and get the starter kit so if you want more info let me know um, okay the other fun thing I have to show you guys is um, some swap cards are there actually I think they kind of did as part of our creative challenge and our swap cards so um, they combined the two ideas basically so I have some fun cards to show you guys some of them I guess are fun folds we'll say that was our creative challenge this month was to make a fun fold card and I always so we have a separate Facebook group our ink inspired stampers Facebook group where um, it's just for my team um, and we do lots of sharing and posting and um, maybe a little bit more business info just to make sure everybody's up on everything with what's going on with Stampin' Up. But I love for people to post their creative challenge ideas on our Inkspired Stampers group so that that way everybody in the group can see those projects and see what everybody's up to. So this is one of the creative challenge or swap cards that um, Sharon Greening, I think you're still on here, made for us. And isn't this cool? So it, I'm trying to like see which way do I go. So we would go like that right and then how beautiful so she used some of the new um the hippo dies the labels and the hippo dies and then this paper let's see if i do that there we go this paper is from that gilded autumn designer series paper that i just showed you from our make and takes and then she used some of i'm not sure if that is i think that's regular gold gold foil sheets but you could have used if she had maybe the brushed gold um from the new, yeah, the brushed metallic paper, or this one looks beautiful there too, with one of the leaf dies from further in the catalog. Let's see, which one is that? Because I don't have those dies yet, and I want them. The stitched leaves dies, I'm sure, yeah, because you can see the stitching in there too, right, with some pretty uh, mint and macaron ribbon, it looks like there, so beautiful, right? Have to share that one. Then here's another fun one. This was um, Nancy Gulick, another um, friend in my downline, one of our Inkspired stampers. So you have to see, so this one, it just, it opens like a regular card, but can you kind of, kind of see how that works? So when she gave them to us, they were pretty flat and then she kind of um, grabbed it and like puffed it up. So it's almost, you see it kind of like pops out and then she decorated like the inside flaps of it too and this is all part of hello miss debbie glad you can join us this is part of i have to look it up i should have known the name of it because we were checking out this um it's the product medley what is it called let's see okay another page so it's in the annual catalog yep so in our annual catalog on page nine 
This is part of the Boho Indigo Suite, the beautiful blue and white suite, like Night of Navy. Night of Navy, and I think they also um, mentioned Misty Moonlight in there too. So that's where her little die cuts came from, and then the designer series paper too. But isn't that cool? So that was an awesome card from Miss Nancy. And then this was um, Sunday's card. So this is a fun, she did a belly band on here with all that beautiful, one of my, this is probably my favorite in color, especially for summer right now, that magenta madness. But look, so she did like a belly band on here. So you slip that off with the sentiment, know that you are loved, right? And then check out this fun fold, right? It's like an accordion. Isn't that cool? So you could do something, you know, write some fun sentiment on the inside there. Hello, Miss Diana. Glad you can be here with us. Isn't that cool? Yes. Okay, so that was another one of our swap cards. And then we had Miss Tracy Claire. She featured, this is some of the Brightly Gleaming or Christmas Gleaming. So this is a suite of products and normally they might carry over stamps and punches, but this one they actually carried over the designer series paper. This was like my most favorite, absolute favorite designer series paper pack from last year. So it's fun that it's still around and we can continue to enjoy it. So there's a beautiful card. And I think she did do on the inside. I love that. People are doing so many beautiful things on the insides of their cards too. And then last one to share. This one is from Jamie Sanders. Um, she is one of my Inspired Stampers team members from down in Ohio. And she made an awesome Halloween card with some of the Halloween suite of products. The sparkly bat. So it's funny because August, August is like bat season, right? But my home is bat proof now. I don't know if you guys remember that. I used to have the bat man, the bat guy, <laughs> had to come a number of times last, last summer, like all throughout August basically. And I am so happy that bats are only on uh, cards now and not in my house. Oh my gosh, that's like huge, huge relief. So anyway, but yeah, love this card too. And I love that paper because I haven't really seen that yet too. So beautiful swap card. So I just had to share those with you guys because we have some super talented team members that do amazing work there too. So, um, okay, one other quick reminder because we're what, on August 21st, so we have 10 days left. If you have not used your bonus day coupons, make sure you use those because they expire September 1st. You have to use them in August. So if you haven't done that yet, um, you would have gotten an email from Stampin' Up after you placed at least a $50 order. They would email you your bonus day coupon. If you have any problems with that, let me know. Um, if for some reason you didn't get a, an email or something, but make sure you use those coupons, okay? Because 10 days left. So hope, hopefully everybody's used them already, but if you haven't, make sure you do that, okay? Um, okay, I was gonna show you, let's see. So the designer series paper share, cause I'm like dying. I cut it this week and I'm like, I didn't get a chance to like look at it as much as I wanted to. So let's see, I'm gonna try to show you guys because let me explain. So I've been doing this designer series paper share. My first order went in, well, my actually my first order already shipped out this week. So if you already ordered and paid for a paper share, um, those are those went out to you this week, but you still have time. If you did not get, look at all of this paper. Can you guys see, like, look at how thick this is, right? So we've got Philomena, hello. So I'm gonna try to flip, can I, what if I go this way, right? So you guys can't even really, I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna flip through this though, when I flip the camera down, cause look at, we got a bunch of six by six paper, that plaid, I love that plaid, right? Um, but look at, look at all of this paper. So for 48, yeah, let me make sure, yes, $48, you get 14 different packs of designer series paper, right? So some are six by six, you can see all of those right there, and, and most of them are 12 by 12. Um, so 14 different packs of designer series paper, you get a sample of each of them um, for $48. Basically, it's a quarter of a pack um, of each of the papers, okay? So RSVPs are actually due by next Tuesday, August 25th, and I will make sure everything ships out by Friday, September 4th. So right before Labor Day weekend, okay? So I'm gonna show you again though, cause I, I cannot even like explain how beautiful this paper is. Um, so I'm gonna show you when we flip the camera down, but I just wanted to give you a little sneak peek there too, cause it's in my notes and I have to kind of keep going um, with what I'm doing here. Oh no, texts are coming in, okay. Hold on, okay, good, it went away. <laughs> like, don't my friends know I'm on Facebook Live right now, people? <laughs> okay, sorry, and now I'm getting hot. It's funny, because it's been really pleasant in my house, but it's supposed to get up to like close to 90 today, and all of a sudden I'm like, 
Yeah, I think it's working on getting closer to 90, like right this minute. Um, okay, what else? I have so much stuff. I have to keep showing you guys. Okay, uh, okay, cute club member treat. If you have not gotten this yet, hopefully most everyone has gotten their club member treats. Um, but so if it's like, if you if you haven't gotten yours yet, because I did just mail some out too. So spoiler alert, right? If, um, if you haven't gotten this yet. Hello, Darlene. Thanks for joining us. Okay, so you guys may, anybody that came to our Simple Beautiful Car class last month is totally going to recognize this because this was a card that we made. And I've posted this on our Facebook group. You got, I think I just, I love this card so much. It was a swap that I received from Kara, and I'm gonna say Pezant, Pezant, I'm not exactly sure how you spell her last name. Uh, but anyway, she made a card. We made it at class last month because I loved it so much. And then, because again, I couldn't stop like loving this so much, um, I had to put it on this club member treat too. So this is what I made for everybody. These are the cute little um, mini paper pumpkin boxes, right? So awesome, like it's basically, right, paper pumpkin, only mini, okay? So we had to decorate with that, you are my sunshine, and I love the little ribbon and the, um, what are these, the daisies? <laughs> she, oh, that's so sweet. She says, Darlene says, hi kid, you look great. So happy to be here. Ah, you're all oh, that's, I'm like, oh, I can all three, I thank you. You look great too, I'm sure you do. <laughs> anyway, thank you. I'm so happy you can be here as well, Miss Darlene. So, uh, okay, so yeah, so cute little treat, right? And then the best part, I think, is you can decorate this however you want on the outside. And then like, think of like gift ideas, right? So when I open this up, and I didn't even decorate, but I put a little note when I mailed these out to people saying, look guys, our cute little note cards and envelopes fit in here perfectly okay so this is just one of the whisper white note cards right and then one of the envelopes so these things fit perfectly inside here so like i said think like maybe christmas idea christmas um christmas gift idea right you could so you could put christmas cards right you could decorate the outside with um some kind of christmas theme whatever you like right pick a suite or um, pack a designer series paper decorate the outside and then you could make a coordinating set of note cards to go inside you could do um, birthday cards or like allocation cards um, anything you want i think i mean quite a few of our note cards and envelopes are going to fit in there because this is just one note card and envelope obviously and there's there's a lot of room in there i guess depending on how much you embellish the outside of your cards but i would think a nice gift set would be like like four or five little um, note cards and envelopes in there, nicely decorated and coordinating with the outside of your box. So I just had to, that was like, I couldn't not show these cute little paper pumpkin boxes. And then, like I said, I loved that. You are my sunshine, it's just so cute, right? So anyway, I loved sharing those treats with everybody and then also sharing the idea of what you can do with those boxes and with the holidays coming up, um, even like Thanksgiving time, right? You could um, show up for Thanksgiving with a cute little handmade box decorated with like, you know, Thanksgiving, thankful, thankful, thank you, thankful for you cards or something. So lots of different ideas, right? So yeah, I love those boxes too, Philomena. Um, okay. Yeah. I'm like chatty Kathy today. Maybe because I don't have class either. So I know like I don't have to like bust on out of here to get to class on time. So I've got all day. We can chat all day. I won't. I won't do that because I know you guys probably are on a time schedule too, right? Um, let's see. <laughs> okay. I think let's do some drawings, right? So first of all, we are going to draw for this is the Knight of Navy. Um, the playing with patterns ribbon, the Knight of Navy ribbon in that kind of combo pack of ribbon. It's a really thin, maybe an eighth inch wide um, Knight of Navy ribbon. So it matches perfectly with my, my bot or my Stampin' Up bag right here. Okay, so names are in here. If you sign up for my email list, if you have not done that yet, make sure you do that. The link to do that will be and the details, hello, Miss Susan, um, will be in the details to this video after I get it uploaded here on Facebook. And then also, if you share, 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 look at actually perfect timing. Miss Susan is sharing the video like as we speak. So thank you for sharing the video, Susan. Your name will be in next Friday's Facebook Live drawing. And it's in this one too, because I know you shared last week's video also. So, okay, got lots of names in here. They're like kind of sticking together. So, you know, I have to make sure I only pull one out of here, right? Okay, 
Oh, okay, one. Yes, one in my hand. And it goes to Miss Lisa Johnson. Oh, congratulations, Miss Lisa. I'm trying to think if I have your mailing address. So Lisa, if you're watching either now or I think you watch later, um, will you send me um, a message on Facebook with your um, mailing address so I make sure that I have that so I can, oops, get your Knight of Navy ribbon mailed out to you. So congratulations, Miss Lisa. Okay, so this week we have more beautiful, you guys, I am like a ribbon lover, okay? So I love to give the ribbon away because I know how much I love it and hopefully you guys love it too. So next Friday we are going to give away, this is the Just Jade Twill Ribbon, one of my favorites. This is going to be great kind of for your fall projects, for your holiday projects, beautiful twill Just Jade in color ribbon. So we're going to give this away on next Friday's Facebook Live. So just share the video and sign up for my email list. As many times as you share the video, that's how many times your name goes in the drawing to win this, right? So yes, Susan, you love ribbon too. I hear you. Yes, me too. So, okay, let's see. I still got this pearl down on my on my little table here and I'm like, oh, do you guys do that? You're like, oh, I can't get rid of it because it goes to something. So I'm going to just kind of carefully put it right over there and see if <laughs> it's gonna come to me. There's something on this table that's missing a pearl, but I don't know what it is right now. So, okay, um, let's see. I think we are, what are we gonna do now? I've showed most everything on my table here. So, okay, guys, you. I say this sometimes, right? And it's actually always true because I don't get too many online orders. Last week, I actually didn't get any online orders. So I was hoping to give away the cute fruit stamp set, but I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to give it away another way, right? So anyway, I don't, I don't have any names in the little basket to do the drawing for because there weren't any online orders. So know that, right? You guys, the odds are really, really good of winning these drawings that I do because I just don't get that many online orders, right? So with that being said, I will tell you next Friday, if you order anytime between now and next Wednesday at midnight, your name um, is automatically going to go in the drawing to win the what is it called? The Hippo and Friends dies. And I'm going to pull these out and show these to you in just a couple minutes because we're going to use them on projects that we are making. So I'll keep this one intact because this is beautiful and perfect for whoever wins it by putting their order in next anytime between now and next Wednesday. Just a $30 order gets you um, your name in the drawing to win these Hippo and Friends dies. So super cute like stamp set that these go with, but then there are all these label dies that I have been using all the time. For example, I think somebody used on this one. Was it this one? I think Sharon. These are some of the Hippo and Friends dies right here. Those dies. And I've been using them a ton. So if you've been watching Facebook Lives the last few weeks, I've used them pretty much like every single week, I think, because I can't stop using them. So anyway, plus you'll get the two projects that I'm going to demonstrate in just a few minutes. And you also get to pick if you bump your order up to at least $50, you either get to pick the um, In Color Dots, my embellishment for the month, or the Demo Design Dream Team PDF Tutorial. 16 projects in here in color. So let's see, can I show you? Oh, am I in view? Ah, uh, there, okay, a little bit, you can kind of see. But you get the idea. Step-by-step -step instructions, lots of cute projects, 16 different projects in here. It's not really showing up too well, is it? But you get the idea. Top to bottom, beautiful, amazing projects, free with a $50 order. Or you can pick the embellishment, either one, whichever is like, whatever your fancy is, right? Okay. <laughs> I think, okay, I'm gonna tell you guys about one more thing and then we're gonna flip the camera down. Okay. So today is the last day and I'm gonna tell you what, after you guys see the projects that I'm gonna show you in a few minutes, you're gonna want my best year class to go. I'm telling you what, today is the last day to RSVP though, because I gotta get the orders in so that I can get everything back to me and cut and packed and prepped and ready to send out to you guys. So I'm gonna show you the cards. These are the, we always make four cards, two of each of them, so you get eight cards total. I had a couple of different options. I'm just gonna include the link to the details about this class to go. Again, in the details to this YouTube, or not, well, Facebook Live video that I do end up putting on YouTube. Um, so yeah, that'll be there. And then also I've been posting and emailing about it too. So if you need more info on the class to go, let me know. But I'm gonna just show you the cards really quick, okay? Because some of them just include the sentiments like hip hip hooray, and you did it, right? So you can make two of each of these. This one includes the plaid, my favorite blues and greens. This one says the happy birthday to you. 
and uh, wishing you your best year yet, right? Warm wishes for a happy Christmas. And then thank you for all that you do. And did I put anything on the inside? Oh, yes, I did. And every thoughtful little thing you do. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make this plaid. Like, look at look at these plaids. Oh, I'm good. OMG, right? Super duper cute. But I didn't want to put it on all of them, right? So I just did it on two and then not on two, just with the sentiments. Um, because I didn't want to be overwhelmed by, you know, have you be overwhelmed by making all the plaid, but you could make a million different plaids. Beautiful, beautiful cards. So, but today's the last day. If you want to RSVP, let me know. If you have any questions, I would love to get one of these fabulous to-go kits sent out to you. Okay. Um, all right, scoop them out of the way. So I think. We are ready. Let me just make sure we're gonna flip the camera down. I think we're good. If I missed anything, I'll tell you about it next week. How's that? The plaids are beautiful, aren't they, Philomena? Yes. Okay, so, <laughs> let me keep my notes, yeah. Okay, so turn your heads away. We're flying through the air. We are going to flip that camera down and do some stamping and show you more good stuff. That won't be backwards any longer. Okay, there we go. All right, so let's get ourselves into view. So here's our host code for um, the month of August. So that's what you're gonna wanna use when you order online to get your name in the drawing to win those dies. Where did I, I already like lost them? Anyway, okay, I'll show you those in a few because I'm just so excited about them and lots of other things. Like Miss Sandra, I think she is watching. So she sent me this super beautiful birthday card. Even the envelope is decorated with her designer series paper. And then look at this. Ooh, it matches. Isn't that awesome? So it says, happy birthday. Cue the confetti. And you may recognize this card layout because we made this on Facebook Live. Um, I don't know, earlier this summer. I can't even remember exactly when, but she loved it and ended up ordering most, I think, all these products to make these cards. And then she sent me this cute birthday card. A little early though, too. Uh, let's see. So she put a little bit of sticky stuff on here because then she had all of this confetti like inside here and she said yeah I was hoping it would like fall out all over the place but actually it kind of there's I think there's a little bit of adhesive that was holding stuff together so it's not falling everywhere but isn't that so cute and look at all these little the confetti that says happy birthday isn't that so fun so yeah I tried to keep it intact because like I said she was like excited that it might all fall out all over the place on me but I'm just having fun showing that card right with the confetti inside so thank you Miss Sandra so um I will just tell you guys that my birthday is actually coming up on September 13th. It is going to be my 50th birthday. It's hard to believe that, you know, 50 years have gone by. But anyway, we've got some fun plans um, for my birthday weekend. But anyway, coming up. So if you want to send me a birthday card, like shameless plug here, I love to get your birthday cards and I love to share them too. So, all right. Um, let's see. What else do I want to show you guys? Am I ready? Um... You know what I want to do? I just want to do a quick review of the Super Summer Giveaway before I get into like showing you guys um, the last couple of things I want to show you because we only have a few days left to get your name entered into the drawing. It ends on August 31st, so 10 days left. You get entries all summer long, and I've been putting entries for people into this drawing all summer long. For example, you get one entry for each event you attend, two entries for every $50 you spend. That includes online ordering as well. Two entries for each time you post a picture of a project that you made like the one I make on that week's Facebook Live. You just use that hashtag super summer giveaway when you post your project. So for example, the two cards that I make today, if you make something um, using the best year uh, bundle or the layouts that I use, use that hashtag, post it to our Facebook group right here and you get two entries in the drawing, right? If you bring a new guest to class, you get two entries in the drawing. If you join a club, including if you sign up for Paper Pumpkin, or I could still get you on to In Color Club. We also have the Simple Beautiful Card Club, the Card Club To Go, and then Scrapbook Club. Five entries for purchasing the starter kit. You can do that anytime. Five entries and another five entries if you hold your own private party or class. We could probably still fit something in before the end of August if you're interested. But all of these reasons get your name in the drawing to win some fabulous products at uh, the beginning of September. I've got lots of good things in mind to be giving away in our Super Summer Giveaway drawing. So I wanted to, because I haven't mentioned that for a few weeks, and I was like, I got to make sure I tell you guys about that. So, okay, so back to the designer series paper share. I just have to show you guys this one more time because you can you kind of, you kind of get an idea. Like, look at, look at all of that paper. 
okay? So there's our six by six and there's by 12 by 12. And I'm gonna flip through just super quickly, but I want you guys to see, because these are all the packs of paper. You're gonna be able to see there, I think that's in view, right? That are in our new, what are we calling it? The August to December mini catalog. So for $48, you can get all of this paper. If you need it shipped to you, I'm gonna send it priority mail so it's an additional $8 shipping. Don't forget RSVPs are due by next Tuesday, August 25th. And I will ship everything out by Friday, September 4th. But okay, so these, I do not know the names of all of them, but I love, I'm a huge plaid fan, clearly, right? So we're just, I kind of feel like I'm stamping up. They do videos like this where they just like flip through super quick, oops but they're much better at it than I am. They have a, they probably practice, right? This is a different pack of paper. Can't tell you the name. Don't know the names of any of these things yet, but there's another pack, 12 different patterns in that one. Are we to the next one yet? There we go. This one you may recognize. This was interesting. We've never done this before where they carried over. This might've been like winter frost or something. And you know, honestly, I didn't use this paper as much as I wanted to last year, so I'm pretty happy that it's back and available for us to play with this year. Ooh, look at that one, right? Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful scene, right? Like, look, you could just put that on a card. You don't even need to do anything with it, right? Okay, so here, I'm a little bit out of view, aren't I? Okay, so that's all the six by six paper. Now this is 12 by 12. So this is the Halloween. Again, whatever the name of this is, we do not. It's in the catalog, we'll figure it out, right? I'll get there. By the time it's all over, I'll know the names of all these. So Halloween, this is like the poinsettia paper. Isn't this pretty? I didn't know if I was a big poinsettia fan, but I think this paper is, look at the wood grain too, it is gorgeous. Feels like frost. Yes, that's it. You have some from, and yes, the Christmas gleaming. That's back in here somewhere too. This one I thought was my absolute favorite. I love this little scene with the houses in the snow. This, I, yeah, again, I'm not sure what this paper pack is called, but Oh, so cute. Look at that. More houses. Ooh, that's fun too, right? <laughs> All right, so here we go. Next one we have here. Some, this is kind of traditional red and greens, right? I love this paper. I love the stripes. Love the plaid. Oh my gosh. And then check this out. It's like a kind of a... Um, Newspaper print, but you can actually read it with all this like gold embossing kind of stuff on here too. And then some red embossing. And then just if you want something simple, you've got that side there too, right? So we've got more. So these are all different because you can see the back sides are all a little bit different too. So they look similar, but they're not quite the same, right? So we've got some red and some gold right? And then this is, uh, I don't even know what the name of this one is either. <laughs> and I actually have played with this too, because I did a swap card and I did my, my demo design dream team PDF tutorial project uses this sweet snowflake splendor. Maybe I might have that one. This is our fall. Yes, this is the fall gilded autumn suite of paper. Look at that. And then just even that little speckly, right? Snowflake wishes. Is that it? Thank you, Susan. You are on top of it for me. I appreciate that. Yes. Oh, and then check this out, guys. It's like a vellum, but it's got, it's like flocking vellum with flocked vellum, maybe. I don't know. There's, there's a technical name for it, I'm sure. So the backside is kind of just, you're seeing through it, but look at, and it's really like good sturdy weight. And so here are some poinsettia plants. And then look at that one too. Isn't this, oh, it is gorgeous. Okay. And then these you may recognize. This is more and why can I not remember the name? But this is the one where front and back is the same pattern, but one is red and one is green. So these are the carryover papers from last year. And then the Christmas gleaming or brightly gleaming, I could never remember what's what. But look at, you guys get all of this paper for $48. So if you have not signed up yet, or if you wanna sign up again, <laughs> anyway, the first round has already gone out. I will be ordering my last round on next Tuesday. So if you're interested, let me know. Twal Tidings, yes. That's what the, um, this one right here, it's all upside down now. But yeah, the vanilla and garden green and real red. Beautiful, beautiful. Love this paper. I am so excited to play with all of this paper now, you guys. Uh, it, it's funny, you know how that happens, right? You see it in the catalog or online, you're like, oh yeah, that's nice. And then you see it live and you guys aren't even fully seeing it live, but I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed in any of these papers. So if you're interested, I'm happy to send you the PayPal links to get you signed up for the designer series paper share. Okay, I think have we shown everything? I'm gonna check my notes and I'm grabbing a quick sip of water because my, oh, I'm getting parched here. <laughs> 
Okay, now I want to like do a drum roll, okay? Because you guys have probably already seen this, but you know, sometimes like a little, I'm um, just finally got my, <laughs> my stamp and cut and emboss machine. Okay, let's make sure we fully in view. And even like it's super like sleek and beautiful. Okay, Darlene, I will send you the link. Absolutely. Yes, I will. I will email it to you right after Facebook Live. Okay, so what I should have done though, because like I love, look at, okay, here, hold on. We got to like, so it's, I have to be a little careful because sometimes I put these up and I kind of bang them. So I want to, I don't want to make that awful noise or like shake because I'm already shaking the table, right? But look at, okay, so here is our new stamp and cut and emboss machine. I'm going to turn it kind of on its side because it's so like just sleek and beautiful, right? So it's got the little feet on it to help it stay in place. It's got that cool handle, like it's just Oh, it's like, I don't know. I just keep saying sleek and beautiful. And then we've got the handle right here that you crank. I think I just love the silver accents, the white. It's just so fresh and crisp and clean looking. Now I feel like my Big Shot is kind of like old and black and clunky looking compared to this like sleek svelte new machine. So, okay, here we go. So you flip, you flip the one platform down and the other platform down. So it's nice because it's really easy to carry. Um, it can fold up easily to fit into a bag if you're taking it somewhere. And then it comes with these platforms. Let's scoot this. We'll scoot you over. Yeah, that's like the handle's getting in the way. Okay, sorry. I'm like bumping everything everywhere. Okay, so I just want to tell you guys about the plates because this is what comes with your it comes in a package that actually looks like this right so you get all of these things the stamp and cut and emboss machine you get a little quick start guide that tells you everything you need to know about your stamp and cut and emboss machine it gives you some details and instructions basically all you have to do is put the handle on they give you a little allen wrench to pop the handle in um and it's super duper simple lily actually put mine together and i was like lily did you read the directions first to make sure you did it right and she's like mom seriously all you had to do was put this one little washer and screw in for the handle so <laughs> it's really really simple okay so don't be don't be um overwhelmed because this is in different languages this is english right here and it just gives you some kind of uh, tips and information, but it's so simple to put together. Okay. And then the other languages are back there too. So, okay. So you start with, and probably the best part is the fact that everything is numbered. So you start with, this is like the regular standard platform that you would get with your other big shot machine in the past, right? This is your kind of your extra little shim piece. If you're going to do embossing, um, or I'm sorry, die cutting. This is what you'd use with, um, your embossing, right? And then this is what you'd use with your die cutting. You'd use one and two. And then the plates that are labeled, let me flip this, right? Number threes, right? And then this one is actually for the new, newer, I guess I should say the 3D um, embossing folders. This is what you're gonna use instead of, what would you use? This and this, I believe. And it tells you, so that's the fun part. It tells you right on here. So um, if you wanted to do with the thin dies, you'd use platform one, two, and then two of the threes, right? So one, two, and then both of these, and you'd put your die right inside there, just like we used to, but it's really super kind of user-friendly with the numbers on there too, right? Okay, and then this one, um, it would tell you with the thin dies, you would use uh, is that, why is that saying, yeah, one, two, and three, so same idea, oh, that's with the embossing, yeah, okay, all right, sorry, so I'm, like, trying to read and think all at the same, you know, it's really hard for me to read and think at the same time, <laughs> craziness, okay, so we're going to use this today, and it will make even more sense as we are playing with it, okay, but anyway, it's beautiful, it's gorgeous, I think you're all going to want one of these, as demonstrators, I think I've said this, we can order right now. You can get one in your starter kit, or if you want to wait, you can wait until September 1st, and then you can order the um, new stamp and cut and emboss machine yourself. Okay, are you guys ready to make some cards? I'm sure you're like, okay, Amy, stop talking. We just want to see what you have to show today, right? Okay, so let's see. We Are we in view? Yep. I think we are good. There, we will leave that like that, right? Okay, so now I'm gonna show you the first card. And we actually made this card at class last week. And I think I was kind of starting to say, 
I don't want to say disaster, but a little bit. <laughs> it was a little bit of a disaster because I wasn't there to like step by step show everybody cuz basically people come in as as they want. It's open, you know, kind of an open time frame and then they kind of rotate around the tables and make different cards. So I wasn't able to like stand at the table with this card the whole time and tell everybody exactly how to do it. <laughs> So I wish I had done a Facebook Live and said, guys, watch the Facebook Live before you come to class, or maybe I should have been more organized at class. Anyway, I just am so excited to share this card and show you guys how to make it, because it's really, really not difficult. It's just got some steps, and it's good to know the steps in order to do them, right? So, okay, the one thing I will tell you is I'm going to show you how I die cut all of the pieces for this kind of on the next card, because I didn't want to kind of belabor things too much. So what I'm going to show you, I've got those already cut, right? So I'm going to tell you about dimensions. So first of all, we have, this is our, what's this called? Uh, Daffodil Delight, Daffodil Delight card base. So along the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half inches. And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches, okay? So there's our card base, always with our nice crisp fold on our card, right? Then we have a piece of, this is the Coastal Cabana cardstock that measures four by five and a quarter inches, right? And then our Whisper White piece that measures three and three quarter by five inches, okay? So these are all gonna layer on here. And this is what was kind of tricky, was people didn't realize, like don't put anything on the card until after we do our die cutting and layer it on our white piece, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So this blue one you could technically put on, we're gonna do that a little bit later. But we've got our white piece. I already did my die cutting with my dies right here, and I'll show you how simple and easy this is um, with the next card that we make. But so this little grid line one I did in Coastal Cabana and in Daffodil Delight, and then this plaid one I did in Calypso Coral, okay? So those, are already cut and I'll, like I said, I'll show you on the next one how easy really it is to do this die cutting, okay? So the next step is to grab our adhesive and I'm gonna use my little mat right here and then I also have some cheat sheet notes to make sure so that I put it on in the proper order. So the first thing I wanna do is with my little uh, Daffodil Delight grid, I'm just gonna add some adhesive um, basically to these little corner things here, okay? Okay, so we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna add it to our Whisper White piece. And it doesn't really matter kind of where you put this because everything else is just gonna kind of line up around that piece okay so we've got that one next we want to add and you can see this is huge what we're going to do is we're going to add adhesive put it on here and then we're going to trim around everything that's why it was important to not put this piece on your card at class and i didn't catch some people in time so anyway i'm going to stop worrying about that because that is what it is so when it doesn't run then you just pop it over onto you saw how i used this little mat here and sometimes it just doesn't. I don't know if I don't flick my wrist quite right or what happens, but okay. So now we are going to, and the idea is you just want to decide like where do you want your yellow? This one I'm gonna put kind of down in like the bottom left corner, thinking that my blue is gonna go in that top right corner then. Okay, so we've got that there. Okay, I'm trying not to wiggle too much, all right? So then we're gonna flip over our Coastal Cabana piece, and again, we're just gonna add some adhesive in the corners here, okay? And then this one I'm gonna lay over, and I want it to be, like I said, kind of in the top, like of this little square, I want it to be in that top right corner of each of them. Okay, so as long as that and you know, honestly, if it's not exactly perfect, there's enough going on with this card, you're not even gonna really notice, okay? So I'm gonna flip this over and press really firmly. I clearly have a little bit of adhesive on my fingers, but that's okay. All right, so next step is basically to just grab your scissors and trim this off, okay? 
and little bits and pieces are gonna fly everywhere. And the one thing that I did notice, again, like I said, there's so much going on with this card that if I snip on to my white cardstock a little bit, um, or you know, if it's not exactly like straight, perfect, I really don't think you even notice, okay? So we're just trimming this whole thing down, okay? And I'll show you what I mean, because I don't think I cut my other layer perfectly. If you guys can see the one that's kind of right up here in the front. <gasps> oh, storm. Sorry, guys. There must be a dog walking by. <laughs> and he's storm. Buddy, we're on Facebook Live. We have to be quiet and use our manners, storm. Storm. And now, thank you. Thank you. Okay, you need to go now. No more barking. Ugh, he, he makes that little... Oh noise. Okay. Whatever. Okay. Sorry. I'm trying to clean off my little mat here too because I think I'm going to need it for next time. He's all huffing and puffing. Sorry guys. <laughs> okay. So we're just cleaning this off a little bit. Trying to get the bits out of the way. I probably have totally moved. Are we still in view? I think pretty much. Okay. Oops. I didn't get all the bits. That's okay. All right, so there. So you can see, I mean, it might not be uh, absolutely straight, but I think it's good enough. I think you don't even really notice. So now we are going to, and actually I do want quite a bit of adhesive because we've got technically, and you see how when that didn't run, I just went back to an area that did have adhesive and that helps it run for some reason. Okay, so we're gonna layer this one. Oops, it's like sticking to my finger, okay. So there's that. Oops, I got one on there too. And then again, we're gonna add some more adhesive. Quite a bit of adhesive around the edges. A lot of times I just go in the four corners, but this one has so many layers on it. I want to be careful to put enough on there so it doesn't fall off the card, right? Okay, and I'm gonna just kind of do that. I think there, pressing really firmly on the back of it to get it all stuck on there, right? So you see how kind of quick and simple and easy that was, right? So next step is we are gonna stamp and do our die cutting for our sentiment there, okay? So I've just got some scraps of Whisper White and um, Daffodil Delight. I have my Daffodil Delight ink pad. Okay, so we're just gonna open that baby up. And let's see, did I bring? All right, we're good. We're gonna do, I've got my hip hip hooray. We're just gonna stamp that right on there. Always that nice, easy tap, tap, tap. You're seeing that at class that some people like to do more of a squish, 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 and we try to avoid that. Okay, so now we are going to Grab our new stamp and cut and emboss machine and make sure it's right in view there. So again, because I'm die cutting, I'm gonna use platform one and platform two, and then one of my clear cutting pads, number three. Then I'm gonna put my paper down on here. I'm gonna grab my dies. Oh yeah, so these are my Hippo and Friends dies. These are what we're giving away with that like just at least a $30 order. You're gonna get this whole set of dies that includes the little hippos. Sorry, there's some guy going by in a super loud uh, motorcycle. They, I think they're like attention grabber people. <laughs> you know, when it's that loud. Okay, so we've got these couple of labels. I've actually got a couple of them on the backside. We're using these, but the smaller version, and then these little babies too. And this isn't even all of them, because the other, yeah, I'm using these three on the cards that we're making today. So here, we are using these two right here, and then on the next card, we're gonna use that baby right there. So I'm gonna pop that in over there. I feel like there's one more of that size too. I think there is, I think we used it on another card, because I think it's like three of each of these. So look at all these labels, right? Three of that size, three of that size, and three of that size, and then some other, look a little squiggly too. Have fun with that one also. Okay, so that one goes there, and that one goes there. Okay. There we go. Now this one is not magnetic. We are not able to order the magnetic platform quite yet. Um, so just have to be a little bit careful to make sure that things don't move on you. So here, can you see the stitching? They are great dies, aren't they, Susan? Yep, okay, so there's the stitching on that one. And then the next size, more stitching on that one, right? Okay. Let's put those out of the way. 
Let's get this thing out of the way here too. Okay, so we're gonna add some adhesive behind this thing right here, this thing, our sentiment, I guess I'm gonna say, right? We got that there and that there, right? And then we need some dimensionals and I'm gonna put a few on because I'm gonna have my ribbon behind here and I always like to um, make sure I have enough sticky to kind of hold everything on there. Okay, so we are gonna use, this is our Daffodil Delight, that the ruched ribbon and we are just, I'm gonna kind of try to measure out the length here. We'll try about that long there. And I'm just gonna add some adhesive where I want my ribbon to go. We're just gonna do a little bit of that there. So we're gonna kind of in half with this little guy right there. So we're just gonna layer that Maybe right about there like that, right? And then we're gonna peel our dimensionals off. <laughs> oh yes, the colors, you like them, Philomena? I know, like just fun, bright, summery colors. I, I love them too. So there's our hip hip hooray. I just want to, I have to kind of cut that a little bit more of an angle there. And then last step, because you always have to have a little bit of bling, right? So these are the Artistry Blooms Adhesive Backed Sequins. Um, oh, who's, oh, Monica's saying she'd love to win the dies. Yes, they are awesome. Just put your online order in of at least $30 and you could be the winner of these awesome dies. Okay, so these are, so what do we have? Um, I think Okay, ladies, I can't even tell you the colors. I cannot remember, and I feel like actually, nope, there is one more, yep, okay. So we've got kind of a blue, that, so I'm gonna say maybe Pool Party, maybe Rich Razzleberry, uh, maybe Calypso, I feel like one was like a mango though. Maybe that's, maybe that's mango and maybe Calypso. Anyway, they're beautiful, right? So you kind of, can you see? I love the colors. Kind of the fun, bright, like purple, blue, orange, yellowy is kind of what I'm gonna say because I'm not quite sure of the exact color names, but they're beautiful. So we are gonna use one of what I'm calling kind of a yellow. Um, again, I'm just not sure of the actual name, but they're, they're listed in the catalog. We're gonna just grab one of these. Oops, so there's a glue dot underneath there, so you just wanna make sure you get underneath there. I'm gonna put that right there, okay? So that's it for that first card. Right, is that fun? Oh good, I'm correct on the colors. Okay, okay, awesome. <laughs> oh, let's see, I'm seeing all these comments, yes. <laughs> oh, so the dyes, Susan, you're saying if you're making, I'm making you want to purchase those plaid dyes. I don't know their name. So the name of them is, let's see, it's on the back right here. The Best Plaid Builder Dyes. <laughs> and Sharon's saying, I have the dyes and I need to use them more. Well, hopefully this will be inspiring you to use them more. So the best plaid builder dyes, and they are bundled with the best year stamp set. I probably should have shown you those again, right? Because I did that at first. But yeah, best year stamp set, best plaid builder dyes. So we used um, the Hip Hip Hooray on the outside. And then actually, I forgot another piece of Whisper White to go on the inside here. But on this one, I did stamp happy birthday to you. So hip, hip, hooray, happy birthday to you. Or you could say you did it would be another fun one to go on the inside there too. So pretend that that's on the inside of that one also. Okay. And that also reminds me too, that, um, let's see, colors, dimensions, item codes of everything that we use will be on my blog at gathering ink with a K. So gathering inspiration.com. They'll be on this afternoon after I get everything uploaded um, to my blog and to YouTube and Facebook and everywhere. Okay. So, but those are the things that's what you're going to need. The essentials are the best year stamp set and the best plaid builder dies to actually put that card together, okay? You guys are all, there are so many comments. Okay, yes, I'm being very helpful. Oh, thank you, Sharon. Yeah, I appreciate that. Oh, I'm glad you like the card too, Miss uh, Philomena. Okay, all right, I think I saw all the comments. I hate to miss them, and sometimes I'm like chattering too much, and I do, so, okay. All right, I think we're good, this stuff. Let's do that one. All right, so we'll move these over here. So we have we have one more to go, ladies. Thank you. I'm so glad you guys enjoyed that card. Yeah, it's those fun, bright, like, summer colors, I think. Okay, so our next one, let me get myself situated a little bit here. 
Okay, you guys wanna see? Here's our next card. So I had to go with kind of a Christmas theme because I loved that. Warm wishes for a happy Christmas. So we've got a fun sentiment right there, right? Where's my stamp set now? It's like buried. Oh, I guess it's right here. Yeah, so. Where is it? There we go. Warm wishes for a happy Christmas. So we've got lots of kind of year-round sentiments and then they threw a Christmas like holiday one in there too, right? Okay. So let me tell you about this card. And then I had so much fun. This is the largest die right there um, in the hippo dies, that other label. So I'm going to show you exactly how we do our die cutting on those pieces right there. Okay. All right. And we use some of the Whisper White Crinkled Seam Binding Ribbon. So we'll use that too. Okay, Just Jade ink is what we're gonna use on our sentiment. Let's put that up there. And I have a little note to myself because I did this a while ago. Oh, I know. <laughs> okay, this is what it kind of looks like when you're all done. <laughs> My note is like the um, steps, what order to put things on in. Okay, so we will get to that. Let's see. All right, so. <laughs> yeah, I, I was actually like way ahead of the game, ladies, and I designed this card a little while ago, which is kind of unusual, so it's a little bit like not as fresh in my mind. <laughs> so I'm trying to like, I'm not, I shouldn't have told you guys that. You would have never known otherwise, right? Okay, so just jade cardstock along the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half inches, and then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches, okay? So there's our card base what we will start with. Then we have a piece, another piece of Just Jade cardstock that measures the four inches by five and a quarter inches. And that one, if you can see kind of in the light there, right, we embossed it with the Dainty Diamonds embossing folder. So we will do that in just a little bit. And then I have, these are just scrap pieces of Whisper White and Just Jade to do our um, label dies. And you can see, actually, I use the exact same label dies on both of those cards but I love how they layer together. And I think they look different almost. I mean, they're, they're the same, but yeah, they look different with the different um, sentiments and the fonts on there too. And then I have, this is a piece of Whisper White cardstock that measures three and a half by four and a half. And this is basically what we're gonna just layer everything on. So can you kind of see that, right? And then I had, these are just full pieces and they don't even need to be quite this big. They're all the same size. It's just basically a quarter, basically a quarter of a sheet of cardstock at four and a quarter by five and a half. So we've got real red, just jade, and garden green on there. Okay. So this is what we're gonna do our die cutting on to make our plaid right here. Okay. So let's do let's do our die cutting first so you guys can see. And then yeah, so we have a few steps to do on this one. So here we go. That's why I kind of wanted to speed up the other card because I knew if we did die cutting on both of them, we would be here for a little bit. Okay, so let's see. I need my cheat notes here, right? So the red is the plaid. Okay, so the two green ones are what we're going to do. Where are my dies? So I really am organized, but it's not feeling like it at the moment. Okay, so we're going to do, we've got this one in garden green. Okay, and I only have one on there. Okay, these are so clear and not used, I can't find them <laughs> very well. You know, once they're used for a while, then like, you know, they're so etched in that you can, you can see them. So what I'm finding is that this is super tight, and so I didn't have to go back and forth quite as many times as I have previously with my previous die cutting machine, I guess I should say. So these things, can you see how I'm just popping all the squares out? I thought it, I, I was thinking I wanted to keep those to use somewhere. Now where? <laughs> so I do have my paper, oh, here it is. I'm like, where's my paper piercing tool? But yeah, crafter math is definitely set in on this table today, ladies. Okay. Oh, you know what, as I'm doing that, I should have poked. What I should have done was poke right here in these holes. If you poke those three holes right there, then you can carefully lift this out. Okay, just don't pull too hard because you don't want to rip it, okay? So there's one. Then you just dump all those green pieces off somewhere. And then you do it again with your Just Jade cardstock, okay? So Lily was a big helper at class and she die cut these things for most everybody. After I figured out, okay, we, <laughs> Lily, help! <laughs> so she was there doing all the die cutting for us, which everyone really appreciated. Okay, so just pop those, sorry. Did you even see that? I just popped all the squares out. 
Now we are just gonna poke. I just think you have to poke those three to kind of lift something up out of there. And yeah, the embossing diamonds are really pretty. I think I used them on last week's card too because I couldn't find my embossing folder for a while. And then I realized, oh, it's because it's in the tub from, whoops, last week's Facebook Live card too. Okay, so again, see all those little squares? We're gonna just dump those off. And, oops, nope, here we go. One more time. We are gonna die cut our red with the plaid die now, okay? So we've got this one here. Just lay that right on there. And then our other, actually I wanna scoot that up. It's like really close to the edge. There we go. Okay, so this one I am gonna go back and forth. So sorry if it wiggles a little bit. This one has so much detail that I think you kind of just give yourself a break and um, go back and forth a time or two. So we're going to go back through one more time. Sorry, I know it's wiggly wiggly, isn't it? Uh, okay. Ooh, there we go. Use your muscles, ladies. Okay. Get like a little workout there. <laughs> okay. So some of these pop out and some of them do not because some of them are meant to be on here, right? Okay. So we're going to do that. We are going to just pop there. I think that'll do it. So did you see I was just kind of pressing on these things? You might have to clean out your dye a little bit. We will do that later. So it does leave some things in there. You can use your dye brush to clean that right out. Not a big deal. We will worry about that later. You do get, this thing is messy. You get little bits and pieces all over the place. I should show you though. Look at that though. Like everything popped out of your, um, your cardstock almost perfectly right there's maybe that one little baby i think that looks good okay so again we're going to just dust those off over here so we do have a little bit more should we do let's see we have to stamp let's do our stamp and die cutting yeah and then we're going to put everything together then we'll have it all cut and done okay here i am i'm like flinging everything everywhere so where did i put some of my pieces that i need oh boy ladies Okay, seriously, okay, so I got that and that. Here we go, this is what I'm looking for. These pieces are what I need right here. So we're gonna stamp our warm wishes for a happy Christmas. We've got our Just Jag, hello, Just Jade. Miss Charlene, welcome. Okay, warm wishes for a happy Christmas. Okay, that one goes there. Okay, we're just scooting this right out of the way. We're gonna die cut these, and then we're gonna emboss this one with the Dainty Diamonds embossing folder. So let's do our die cutting first. Okay. All right, so once again, so again though, right? Platform one, two, and three. So you can see one, two, and three. I'm gonna put those all down just like back in the day. And actually I'm gonna flip it over because it looks like it could, could use a flip. We're gonna put those things right there. My dies that I just used the last time, good, okay. Found those, that one goes there, that one goes there. So this is the one we just have to be careful. This one, as long as it stays on the paper, that's all we need to worry about. That one needs to try to stay straight. Okay. There we go. Ooh, our snazzy new stamp and die cut emboss machine. Having so much fun with it. Okay. This one pops right out again with the stitching. Another one pops right out with the stitching, okay. Those and those. Now we are gonna do our embossing with this piece right here. So now this is when we do not need platform at number two. That is only for die cutting. You don't need to use that with embossing. So we're gonna use platform number one. It says right here, um, can you read this? Insert embossing folders hinge first, and then it tells you what you need. So with the 3D embossing folder, we need one, and then we actually only need number four, okay? You're gonna put your folder in between one and four. So we've got one right here, so we're gonna lay this down so we don't need either of the clear guys. We've got plate number four right here, okay? and embossing folder is here yay okay good 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 not 
it wasn't too hidden. Okay, so we've got our embossing folder. Put our paper in there. We do want to make sure it's straight. Hinges go in first according to the directions on my plate number one, and then we've got plate number four we're going to put on top. And that, oops, let's move that out of the way too, is all we need to do our embossing. So let's check this one out. The Dainty Diamonds Embossing Folder. So there, okay, I think that's kind of the back side. And then for me, there's the front side with the little, it's like little sparkles in each of those little diagonals. Beautiful, huh? Okay. Scooting all that out of the way. Now, okay, we have everything ready to go. Let's just add some adhesive to our sentiment and get this kind of built up. So it's all ready to go. Again, we're gonna put our dimensionals on the back there, right? We are, now we're gonna tie, uh, nope, not yet, hold on, back it up. Let's put this piece together right here. Oh, because we do have one more die cutting to do. I forgot about that, because I wanna use this, okay, this die here. Okay, so we're gonna use our white piece first, then we're gonna add our, sorry, just jade piece, so we need our adhesive, okay? So again, we're just gonna put some adhesive in the corners. Okay, there we go. Is that running? Let's make sure. There we go, now it's running, okay? Okay, so first, oopsie daisy, flinging things everywhere. So we're gonna lay this one down, and again, it really doesn't matter, just get it on your white piece. Next, we want our real red piece. Can we just add our adhesive here? Okay. And then this one. Let me think about this. I want that one maybe right about, what am I trying to do? I want to do bottom left. I think I kind of like to do the same thing. So bottom left, so the other one's going to go in top right. All right, so we've got that. And then we have got our garden green is our last piece, right? Okay. We're gonna add that one on there. I'm gonna flip this over again. Oops, I got some adhesive, that's right. So we're gonna press that down really firmly and then we're gonna die cut. This is kind of illegal. You're really not supposed to do this, but we're gonna die cut three layers with our, you know, they're little, right? There's not a lot to some of them, so I think it's gonna be all right. But yeah, don't go reporting me or anything, okay? <laughs> all right, here we go. We got our stamp and cut and emboss machine with platform number one. Let's get this stuff out of the way. Oh my gosh, I don't think I've ever created quite a mess. You guys like would be laughing if you could see. We're gonna use platform number two and number three, one of them. We're gonna lay our paper and our die, and I want it to go, I'm trying to get it pretty well centered, right about, doo -doo -doo. let's go like that, okay? Thank you, Philomena, I'm glad you like that. I'm kind of getting excited. It took me a little while. That Them bringing um, the holiday catalog out and available to everybody a month earlier than they normally do kind of threw me. Um, I'm never ready in the summer, but putting it a month earlier than we normally do, I was like, what? So, I mean, I get it because then it gives everybody more time to uh, <laughs> um, order from the catalogs. But yes, now I'm ready to play with holiday stuff. And I believe this worked if it didn't. It's like stuck on there too. Yep. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yes, Sharon, we've all seen our own messes. Yes. Okay. There we go. So what do you think? So I don't know. I feel like you could use that for something fun, right? But that's what you end up with is that extra little baby. And then here is this fun like plaid piece with the fun scallop cutouts, right? Okay. So now we can finally finish putting our card together. So cute though. Okay, so we need a bunch of adhesive on this baby because it's pretty thick and we're putting it on our embossed piece, right? So we've got that. Everything is flinging everywhere, so, oh my gosh. Okay, so I like that maybe. 
right about there, right? Now we are gonna tie a whisper white bow. This is our white seam binding ribbon. We're just gonna get a bunch of that so it's not in my way. Okay, we're just tying a pretty bow around these pieces. Okay, move that right there. Let's see, there we go. Give myself a little bit more room to work with that. Oh, I think Lily and Ella are coming down the stairs. Do they wanna come say hello, goodbye? I think they do. Come, just wave your hands under here. Ella, you wanna come say goodbye to everybody? Come here, bring Ella over here. Ella, will you do this? Can you go, hi? Here, let me hold your, can I hold your juice? Will you do that? Put your hand under there and say hi. <laughs> You don't want to? Look, come here. Hi, guys. How is everybody doing today? Okay. <laughs> She's like, why am I waving at the white table? There you go. You take that back. Bye, Ella. Have a good day. Okay. Sorry, guys. I was just dreaming of how cute that was going to be. But no one else is into it like I am. So, you know, including Lily. She's like, Mom, that's so weird. What are we doing? And then that bow wasn't very good, so I had to redo it. Okay, there we go. All right, so look at, oh, I love that bow. <laughs> oh, that's funny, Nikki. I know that's how it goes. That happens to me all the time too. Okay, so now we can finally add some adhesive. And again, we're gonna use a bunch of adhesive on the back of this embossed piece. Okay, our dainty diamonds, right? Is that what it's called? Let me make sure. Yes, dainty diamonds embossing folder. I'll put that, make sure it's straight before I set it on there. I think it's, I think everything's straight, right? Okay, then our sentiment right here. Nikki, I don't think I even saw you pop on either. I don't know if I said hello to you yet. So hello, Miss Nikki out west, beautiful Utah. Okay, so that goes there and then have to break out, where did they go? Ah, here, underneath here. My holiday rhinestones, they're back. Not that I, not that they were ever gone, but I just haven't used them in a while. Now, where are my paper snips? Huh, oh, here they are, okay. Let's see, so we are gonna put a couple of our red holiday rhinestones. We're just gonna add them down to the bottom of our sentiment. And there, okay. I think we did it, ladies. Shoo! <laughs> oh, that's funny, Sharon. You don't miss the snail noise at all, huh? <laughs> yeah, I guess that little tick, tick, tick noise. <laughs> oh no, Darlene. <laughs> that's funny. We'll see. You could make Christmas cards, though, Darlene. So then maybe, you know, it's fun, right? Spending a little money to um, make some beautiful things and share them with others, right? It's worth it. It's totally worth it. <laughs> oh, well, I'm sorry, Nikki, that I missed you too, that I didn't see you pop on. I, I don't think, I really don't remember saying hello. So I'm glad everyone was here today. So thank you all for joining me. And just quick recap, right? So we've got our beautiful cards that we made today. So if you, especially if you're new to me and you don't know, this is how it works, right guys? If you put at least a $30 order in online between now and next Wednesday, you are gonna get one of each of these cards sent to you and your name is entered into the drawing to win these Hippo and Friends, right? Yes, Hippo and Friends dies that include the two label dies that we used right here and then that big die that fits right in there. This is an awesome set of dies, even if you don't need the hippos. The hippos are totally cute and you've got all these other little bits and pieces too, but I mean, honestly, the labels are fabulous all on their own, right? So, and then if you bump your order up to $50, somewhere I have buried underneath here, you can get the tutorial or the in-color enamel dots, which is the free embellishment for August. So, let me know if you guys have any questions. And don't forget too, if you if you have fallen in love with this bundle, the best year stamp set and the dies that are somewhere over here, maybe you wanna get the class to go kit because then you could make these cards yourself and then you can make all of these cards too, right? Beautiful, look at the plaids, love it, love it, love it. So let me know if you guys have any questions. I'd love to 
uh, get your name entered into the drawing. I'd love to send you these cards. I'd love to send you a to-go kit. Um, so thank you guys. You guys are all awesome. I love your, you're all so sweet and saying thank you. And I appreciate that so very much. So I'm glad you guys enjoyed Facebook Live today. I hope you have a great weekend, getting close to the end of summer. Don't say it though, please, not yet, right? Um, so yeah, I'm like, I don't want to stop talking, but I need to go sit down because I'm always exhausted when this is over. <laughs> All right. Have a great weekend. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Bye everybody. See you next Friday. Thank you.